the two-ingredient grass brew outsmarting every fertilizer. Farmers are calling it liquid gold. What if the secret to your most fertile soil and record-breaking harvest isn't sitting on a store shelf but, you know, growing right in your own backyard? Across gardens and farms worldwide, growers are tossing aside pricey fertilizers and turning to a simple, two-ingredient grass brew that's really taking the agricultural world by storm. It's cheap, 100% natural, and the results are so powerful that, honestly, many farmers are calling it liquid gold for the soil. Welcome to the quiet revolution that's transforming lawns, gardens, and crop fields from the ground up. And it all starts with fresh-cut grass and clean water. The hidden problem beneath our gardens. Modern fertilizers may deliver a quick green-up, but they've left behind a silent crisis beneath our feet. Decades of chemical use have drained the life from our soils, killing off the microorganisms that once made them rich, spongy, and self-sustaining. What we're left with are soils that look dark and fertile, but in truth, they're biological deserts, sterile, compacted, and dependent on synthetic feeding. Plants can survive in these soils, but they're living on borrowed energy. Their roots can't access the full range of nutrients or develop resilience naturally. True fertility, as old farmers used to say, comes from life itself, not from chemicals. And that's exactly what this ancient yet newly rediscovered method brings back, living fertility through fermentation. This isn't compost tea, and it's not your average garden tonic. What makes the fermented grass brew so extraordinary is the biological transformation that takes place during anaerobic fermentation, a process that thrives without oxygen. When fresh grass decomposes in sealed conditions, beneficial bacteria and fungi break down its complex plant matter into simple, highly available nutrients. During this process, organic acids, enzymes and plant growth hormones are produced, all of which act as natural stimulants for plant growth. The end result? A dark, earthy-smelling liquid teeming with beneficial microbes, a probiotic for your soil. Every drop works to restore balance underground, repopulating your soil with microorganisms that help unlock nutrients, suppress harmful pathogens, and stimulate robust root development. Here's the beauty of it. You only need two ingredients, fresh green grass clippings and chlorine-free water. To start, choose a fermentation container. A food-grade plastic bucket or a sealed barrel works perfectly. Fill it about two-thirds full with tightly packed, freshly cut grass. The grass should be vibrant and green. Avoid dried, brown, or seedy material since it won't ferment properly. Next, Pour in enough clean, chlorine-free water to completely submerge the grass. Make sure every blade is below the water line. Exposure to air can spoil the batch. Then, to jumpstart the microbial activity, add one of the following natural starters. A handful of healthy garden soil, or one cup of finished compost, or half a cup of leftover fermented grass liquid if you've made it before. If you want to give the process a little boost, you can also add a teaspoon of molasses. This provides an easy sugar source for the microbes to feed on, but it's completely optional. Seal the container tightly and store it in a shaded, warm location. Over the next two to four weeks, fermentation will take place. Every few days, briefly open the lid to release built-up gases, a process known as burping. When ready, your brew should have a pleasant, earthy sour aroma, similar to compost or pickled vegetables. If it smells rotten, it's likely that air entered the container or the batch got contaminated. Turning grass into liquid gold. Once fermentation is complete, strain the liquid using a fine mesh or cheesecloth. What you're left with is an intensely concentrated nutrient solution, and trust me, it's strong. Always dilute before applying it to your plants. For soil drenching, you want to mix one part fermented grass liquid to 10 parts water, that's a 1 to 10 ratio. Then, just pour it around the base of your plants, making sure to focus on the root zone. This really strengthens the roots, boosts microbial life, and triggers some pretty vigorous growth. For foliar feeding, where plants actually absorb nutrients directly through their leaves, you'll need to dilute one part grass liquid to 20 parts water. 
so that's a 1 to 20 ratio, use a fine mist sprayer and apply either early in the morning or late in the evening, just to minimize evaporation. The mixture should look like weak tea, light brown, and only faintly earthy in smell. After application, go ahead and lightly water the area. This helps the microbes settle deeper into the soil, where they can get to work rebuilding your soil ecosystem from within. Don't waste what's left behind. The solid residue left after straining isn't waste, it's treasure. This partially decomposed grass is rich in beneficial microorganisms and organic matter. You can spread it as mulch around your plants or add it to your compost pile to speed up decomposition and enhance microbial diversity. Every part of this process returns life to your soil instead of taking it away. When and how often to apply. Timing matters. Apply the fermented grass liquid once a month during the growing season for best results. Early spring applications help awaken soil life and prepare plants for vigorous growth. In late summer or fall, it fortifies the soil for winter ensuring beneficial microbes survive and kickstart activity in the next season. If you're managing a larger garden or a small farm, consider setting up multiple containers on a rotation schedule so you always have a fresh batch ready. You can even collaborate with neighbors or landscapers to collect clean, pesticide-free grass clippings. It's sustainable, community-driven, and keeps valuable organic matter out of landfills. Synthetic fertilizers may give fast results but they work by chemical force stimulating plants artificially rather than nourishing the living system that supports them. Over time they degrade soil structure, kill beneficial microbes and make plants dependent on more and more inputs. Fermented grass liquid works in the opposite way. It restores balance and revives natural fertility. Instead of pushing plants, it partners with them. The beneficial microbes rebuild soil health, enhance nutrient availability and promote natural disease resistance. Plants grown with this living fertilizer develop stronger root systems, thicker foliage, and better yields, all without harming the environment. Every batch of grass brew you make is more than just a homemade fertilizer. It's honestly an act of soil restoration. It reconnects us to the ancient agricultural wisdom that, you know, modern farming nearly erased. You're not just feeding your plants, you're healing the ground that, in turn, feeds us all. The next time you mow your lawn, don't see waste, see opportunity. Those clippings actually hold the potential to bring your soil back to life. With nothing more than grass, water, and a bit of patience, you can create a fertilizer that costs next to nothing but delivers. Well, everything your plants truly need. And as you watch your garden flourish, you'll realize this isn't just about growing healthier plants, it's really about restoring the partnership between humans and the living soil that sustains us. If you found this guide helpful, make sure to subscribe to Crop Corner, give this video a thumbs up and share it with every gardener you know. Together, we're not just growing better gardens, we're growing a more sustainable future, one handful of living soil at a time.